Tiwari Dam in Ratnagiri of Maharashtra was breached on Tuesday, causing flood-like situation in seven downstream villages. Twelve houses near the dam have been washed away. Six bodies have been found while about 20 people from near the dam are missing. NDRF teams have been rushed to the spot. Several parts of Maharashtra have received incessant rains over the past few days, leading to loss of life and property. Mumbai remains paralyzed as most of the parts of the city remain waterlogged due to incessant rainfall for the sixth consecutive day. The death toll in rain-related incidents across Maharashtra has reached 38. 22 people were killed and 78 injured in a wall collapse incident in Malar on Tuesday. 14 people have been killed in the rest of Maharashtra in rain-related incidents. The situation in Mumbai remains grim as air, railways and road traffic have been affected. The IMD has predicted heavy to very heavy rainfall today. Home Minister Amit Shah on Wednesday summoned Delhi Police Commissioner Amulya Patnaik over the communal tension in Chandni Chowk area of Delhi. Reports said that Shah reprimanded Patnaik over handling of the incident. A clash had broken out between two groups over parking and a temple was vandalised on June 30th in Hoskazi area. Peace committee meetings between the two communities diffused tension. The police has acted promptly and the uh, situation in the house Kazi area is well under control. Four people have arrested and those who are involved in this case will be taken to the legal action. After the UK High Court granted Vijay Malia the permission to appeal against the extradition order on Tuesday, the fugitive businessman has repeated his offer to pay back the banks that lent money to Kingfisher Airlines in full. Malia, who is facing fraud and money laundering charges amounting to 9,000 crore rupees in India, alleged a witch hunt by the CBI and asked the authorities to please take the money. Bollywood actor in Gurdaspur MP Sunny Deol has turned the controversy over his appointing a representative to the Lok Sabha constituency as extremely unfortunate. Sunny Deol said that the appointment was to ensure smooth flow of work whether he was out of Gurdaspur to attend the parliament or travelling for work. Deol was criticised for officially appointing Gurpreet Singh Palheri as his representative to attend meetings and follow important matters in Gurdaspur. <laughs> This is not a celebration, but a new drive by Lucknow Municipal Corporation to make property tax defaulters pay. The corporation has started this unique method of playing drums outside defaulters' premises to make them pay their dues fast and also spread awareness among people to pay their tax on time. Pakistan Prime Minister Imran Khan has declared that his government would not offer any amnesty to politicians like ex-president Asif Ali Zardari and Premier Nawaz Sharif accused in corruption cases. But Khan added that if they return the looted money under a plea bargain, they could leave the country. He also revealed that the incarcerated former Prime Minister Sharif's son tried to secure the release of their father with the help of two friendly countries. There were a lot of performances that stood out as India made their way to the semi-final of the World Cup. But the one person who did steal the show was an 87-year-old Indian fan. Charulata Patel was seen celebrating the boundaries and the wickets in the stands. She became an instant favourite not only amongst the fans but also the Indian team. After the match, Captain Kohli met her and spent some time with her as she blessed him. Virat also posted pictures with her on his Instagram account. A significant breakthrough, researchers from the Temple University's Lewis Katz School of Medicine and the University of Nebraska Medical Center have eliminated HIV from the DNA of infected mice using genome editing technology. With the help of slow-release virus suppression drug, they were able to eliminate HIV completely from 9 out of 23 mice. This brings us a step closer to curing the disease in humans. Clinical trials for the treatment could begin as soon as next summer. Now this is a story that will warm your heart. Staff of Bajaria Police Post in Madhya Pradesh looks after a Labrador Sultan as his entire family is behind bars for killing five relatives over property dispute. When the cops found the dog, he'd been left without food and water for days. The officers say Sultan has now become like family and gets pampered by officers who take turns taking care of him.